friends, it's time for another story. Um, I actually have a book left over from last week's bird focus. And this one is so lovely. I wanted to share it with you. Let me show you the cover. And it's called Numenia and the Hurricane. And it's actually a book inspired by a true migration story. So this is lovely jacket. Remember, that's what we call when it has a little outer covering. I'm going to take the jacket off just because it's easier to read. Sometimes the books look the same as the jacket. This one doesn't. This book is written by Fiona Halliday. I'll show you the inside. It's very lovely. Looks like some maybe sponge painting right there. Here we go. Three sisters born by Arctic shore on bare cold rock as spring winds roar. Banded eyed, they slip unseen through the beckoning moors of tangled green. Hunting bugs in thawing creeks, spearing, gobbling, growing beaks. Five weeks old, they've reached the sky. Curly, curly, curlew, they cry. These illustrations are so lovely. Suddenly, it's equinox, autumn calls, it's feathered flocks. Thousands gather on the moor, babbling, jostling, but unsure. Till wise old goose shows them the way, surging out of Hudson Bay. Three sisters rise and seek the height, guided by the North Star's light. But from the skies, a great stampede, 10,000 hissing raindrops freed. One ripped away, she claws the air, blinded by the lightning glare. Down she swoops, her feathers flail, a tiny peep, a screeching wail. Escape, escape, the awful shriek, faltering, she's wet and weak. Askew upon a window sill, a dripping ghost with trembling bill. A moon face in a glowing pane, fingers reaching through the rain. In restless dreams, she's one of three, three sisters in a tangled tree. She lifts her eyes, she longs for flight, surging into dawn's red light. On stronger wings, she battles on, searching, seeking, she is drawn. With storm-tossed birds like ragged ghosts, she hugs the lines of battered coasts. She's half the weight she was before, a clutch of hope and nothing more. But from the sigh of distant waves, echo sweet and haunting staves, Curly, 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 they sing through sundered skies. Her feathers sing in crumbled rainbows, cindrift spun. She's molten gold in sinking sun. <laughs> wow. 
wild trees wade, the foaming tide, egrets hiss, fish glint and glide. Around her, roots snatch and trap, paw her, claw her, croak and flap. Then, weary winged, she sinks her toes in rippling warmth, its home she knows, and cloaked in dancing fireflies, singing softly, two shapes rise. Here, where moon and shadows meet, Three joyful sisters softly greet, and so their bond is forged anew. Curly, curly, curlew. And that is the end of Numenia. And um, here's what it says. It says, the name Numenia comes from Numenius Fapus, the Latin name for wimbrels, a type of migratory shorebird. When I first saw a wimbrel on the Shetland Islands in Scotland, I was immediately fascinated. Despite my love of birds, I knew very little about wimbrels. Then I read about hope. Hope was a wimbrel, the scientist from the Center of Conservation Biology in the College of William and Mary, tracked between 2009 and 2012. Every year as Hope flew her migration route, they gathered information through a tiny solar-powered satellite transmitter that she wore like a backpack. And in 2011, the scientists witnessed something astonishing as Hope set off on her annual migration from Canada's Northwest Territories to the United States Virgin Islands, she ran into a tropical storm right off the coast of Nova Scotia. She battled through raging headwinds for 27 hours, nonstop, going an average of nine miles per hour. With this little bird with nothing to fuel her, but a belly full of tundra berries make it? She must have been exhausted. Not only did she survive the storm, but afterwards she used its headwinds to hurl herself back toward Cape Cod. Days later, she arrived in St. Croix, where she spent the winter feeding on fiddler crabs before her long migration back to Canada in the spring. Hurricanes can be devastating for migratory birds like Hope and Numenia. Blown hundreds and thousands of miles off course, they are weakened and exposed to predators. Hurricanes can be 400 miles wide, so migrating birds sometimes find them impossible to avoid. And yet these birds are not to be underestimated. We can learn from their tenacity and determination to face our storms with the same quiet courage. So I would have to say both hope and pneumonia. They had perseverance, didn't they? Yeah, perseverance. So, all right, that's Numenia and the Hurricane. That's today's story, friends. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.